Coucou tout le monde, c'est Axe, j'espère que vous allez bien, très heureux de vous retrouver pour la suite de cette aventure de la quatrième saison et dernière de The Walking Dead. On est toujours sur le premier chapitre et on va pas perdre de temps, on va voir tout de suite ce qui nous attend dans la suite de cette aventure. Ok. Merci. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Bonjour. Don't mind Violet. She uh grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. Hmm. Let me help. No, no. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Ok. See you on the other side. Allez. Ils ont mis plein de pièges et tout. Ils ont l'air de savoir ce qu'ils font. Voilà, c'est la technique de Clem. Ok, on va l'attendre, hop, à chaque fois faut remonter les pierres du coup, et on coupe des petits bouts de corne tout le temps, ok. Oh j'ai appuyé sur la touche, hein. voilà, les un deux, lui, on occupe. Ok. Elle les enchaîne quand même. Hein. Ok. Alors, des rôdeurs, il y en a où Il y en a là. Ouch Allez, faut qu'il soit à hauteur. Hop, derrière toi, Clem. Ah, super. Et lui aussi. Ok. C'est sanglant. Hein. J'ai l'impression beaucoup plus que les autres saisons. <rire> L'autre qui s'agite. Bien d'accord. Derrière toi. Oh. Allez, allez. Il y a un chien. Waouh. Le molosse. Oh, 
Oh, c'est quoi ce chien la musculature du chien. That walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. Méton. On cherche de la bouffe depuis le début de l'épisode quand même. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Oh. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. <laughs> B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. You did a good job out there too, Lewis. You're too kind and accurate. You're falling right into his trap, you know. Trap schmap. She's just speaking the gods honest. So am I. <laughs> Pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's here. Oh. AJ. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. He's a jumpy little guy. You gonna be okay? <laughs> He can't go around punching people into going expect me to eat at the same table. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. So we should talk about what just happened. It was an accident. An accident. I know. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But, but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Well, let's try not hitting them for a start or biting. He snuck up on me. AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Okay. Alors, là-bas, il y a des gens. On va aller voir la petite nerveuse là-bas. There's that girl I bet. Yeah, wanna talk to her? Va t'excuser peut-être? Sam, sorry. Voilà, très bien. Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta. Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. Oh, yeah. I did it. You sure did.
Okay. Alors. Et qu'on a là. Bonjour. Je vais me présenter. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You want to see something cool? I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. <laughs> Swear. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> Ok, pourquoi pas, pas d'autres gamins ailleurs, je regarde on sait jamais, donc elle s'est fait, elle s'est fait, lui il va encore nous draguer. Hey guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Excuse me, chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist, the slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Si. Lui, on lui a sauvé la vie. Asim. Hello. Hello. Oh hey, it's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! It's not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. On va pas rendre the only place I get any real privacy around here. Got Le malaise plus you know. pesant. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. Allez, on va aller voir Marlon et je ne sais pas c'est qui c'est Violette. Ou pas. I'm not ready. Not yet. Ok. Let's talk to someone else. Mais il n'y a plus personne. C'est fait, c'est fait, c'est fait. Euh, ok. Ah, il y a du monde ici. Ok. C'est hey parti. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost oh. them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Elle est magicienne. Elle sort des fleurs de son dos. Thank you. Oh, il vient de parler. Clem, yeah, I'm ready okay. to talk to Marlin. Okay. Wow, 
Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Yeah, he is pretty sweet. Not everybody sees that. I won't pay them no mind if you won't. <laughs> I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by <laughs> well, Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! <laughs> AJ! Stew's done! And les autres? Bon. <laughs> guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm, this is really good. Mm. Tu vas te faire mal au ventre à bouffer trop vite. Oh. oh come on. Uh. Oh. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. Sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh god, good night. Violet, <laughs> it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh shit! I like that. <laughs> Bold talk. Uh-uh, true talk. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? Oh. I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Oh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Cool. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. Right. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Okay. Oh. Bravo, Violet. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. C'est pas le mien. Where are AJ's parents? Ah. <laughs> you two don't really look related, so... They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <laughs> For the most part. Hmm. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Uh. What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it <laughs> looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like <laughs> one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> no, whatever you say. Cool. I say <laughs> I look cool. Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, 
Oh, on voit arriver à des kilomètres. Pensez pour Gabriel. Perdu le nom du gars de la saison 2. You do indeed. Ask away. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw so Walker get hit in the head so hard, both his eyeballs flew <laughs> out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Un peu trop calme. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <coughs> Out of the four of us, who do you think is going to die first? Oh. That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. <laughs> Ever... Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. On est des frissons. Wow. Sounds like a rough day. <laughs> yeah, worst day of my life. Oh. You wanted me to ask. On se prend une petite claque là quand même. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. <laughs> you guys relax. Get some sleep. Feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. It just had gagné. Like a really safe window. It does. Good. <laughs> This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like ten? Yeah, like ten. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? 
Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Okay. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. You're you. I see you're um, settling in. Uh. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. Mm. You. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. Not a good memory. I guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend, and Minnie, and uh, we were close. Me and her. Mm. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. Oh. It happens. Able. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. Hey, Brody. Brody. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know. Ah bon? I know pas I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. <laughs> yeah, me too. First impressions aren't exactly my strong suit either. Oh, right. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Allez, on peut peut-être se faire une amie. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. Ok. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Pure dur, hein? Pas simple. Ok, Alvin Jr. Time for bed. Ok, here. For me? For the wall. To make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. C'est super mignon. How about here? Ok. Euh, AJ Oh, gamin, mais non Hey there, what are you doing This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what No, it's not. Y'a des matelas. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh man, this bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That Avec girl just amis. came in. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Gamin, tu dormiras bien. 
Avec un oreiller en plus. Ils enlèvent pas leurs chaussures pour dormir. Je mets pas les chaussures sur le lit. Oh là là, les gamins, je vous jure. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. Ok. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Alors pas comme une balle comme ça. Tintir. Ok. Salut. Hey Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Hey. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. Ouais, il a jamais connu tout ça, lui. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? Ed. I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Hey, <laughs> hey. No, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Faut qu'il apprenne, ce gamin. Fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. On peut lui apprendre la vie à ce petit là. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Oh, oh, oh. Stay back. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, 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 it's okay, bro. Shh. Ah, depuis qu'on s'est fait mordre, on a un peu peur des chiens. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. Okay. Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. Oh. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. Okay. That's so <laughs> cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was... Pretty cool. Now Rosie will be the the casket, kind of. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Oh, it's so wow, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. 
And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Pas grandir, hein. What's the trap area? Hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. The greenhouse. Oh yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. Had plenty of vegetables growing. Et But maintenant? it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we uh, we keep away from that now. On va remettre en état. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Ericsson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. Bien joué. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. Et la gare, c'est là où on That's était. the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place is a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years and the food's become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> We can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. Ah, bah ouais, mais bon. Il y a un moment, si tu veux trouver de la nourriture. I just. <clears throat> I could really use the help. Care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much friends, siblings. I, I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah, well, multiply that by 30, and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> What? Huh. Oh. Everyone's counting on me to step up, be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Mm. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Euh, pop, pop, pop. Pour aller pêcher, il n'y a peut-être pas besoin d'être autant. Oh, j'en sais rien du tout. Ça fait plaisir de voir le jeu en français quand même. Hmm. On va aller avec les filles. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're going to find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we could stay? What? Do you think I was going to throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Alors qu'il fasse des efforts le gamin. All right, let's get going. See you around. Allez, on va aller pêcher. Bon, on s'attend à ce qu'il y ait un truc dramatique qui arrive quand même. On avance dans l'épisode, il y a eu un moment super calme. 
road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Are you sure you trust my driving? I promise I don't usually crash. <laughs> oh, right. On second thought. Yeah, I think Clem just totaled the last working car in the world. <laughs> so much for your road trip. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. Ah oui, c'est une bonne cabane. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor or flat tires or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I'll take skin cancer over, turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Ok. Dur dur hein. Pas la meilleure entente entre les deux. Where are those spears? Hey. About by. I'm oui. sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Bai, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. It's pas impossible. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. I guess I just kind of missed that. Ouais, lui dire. when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Voilà les harpons. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels about me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Gertie. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Okay. un harpon apparemment c'était pas là bon il a rien ici this is cool un crâne de chat c'est comme ça qu'on les aime ah oh, je rigole je suis sûr que vous aimez les chats on va faire les chiens Gardening supplies. Ah, ça pourrait aider pour euh, la serre. Hey you, what you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. Oh. What does that mean? C'est ce que je soupçonnais, mais bon. It means that they were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. Love. Eh oui. Ok. Bon, j'ai pas trouvé son, son harpon. Alors, où est-ce qu'ils sont ces harpons 
un truc de barjo. Regarde l'autre toi. Ah mais juste là. J'étais à côté de tout à l'heure. Dans la tête. Hop là. Bonne portée, bien aiguisée. Super. Bon, comme je vous l'ai dit, on va s'arrêter ici pour cet épisode. J'ai enregistré l'épisode tout d'une tout traite. Et bah, c'est un moment que j'ai choisi pour, euh, pour arrêter, pour stopper, pour faire une petite pause. Et on reprendra du coup dès demain la suite de cette aventure avec la suite de l'épisode. En tout cas, j'espère que ça vous a plu. Si c'est le cas, vous savez quoi faire, c'est la chanson habituelle. Hein, les petits pouces bleus, les commentaires, les partages. Dites-moi ce que vous en avez pensé en commentaire de cet épisode. Moi, je vous retrouve très rapidement pour la suite de cette aventure. Je vous fais plein de bisous. Je vous souhaite une bonne continuation à toutes et à tous. A très vite. Bye bye.